Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We got ourselves a sub battle of the ages. We have Gobes and Nick. This is going to be Gobes versus Ryder. Ryder coming off a loss to Madison. Gobes coming off a loss to Madison. Gobes going down 0-2 to Madison. Nick going down 1-2 to Madison. Things are going to be very interesting as we move into this. Nick gets map pick 1 and 3. 3 if it's necessary. Gobes gets to pick map 2. We are starting off with Crossroads Search and Destroy. I am, however, on this very special occasion, joined co-casting the great pistol pete swaley season defending. reigning defending sub battles middleweight champion of the world sorry um i was thinking of israel adesanya even though he's not a champion anymore anyway uh and soon to be hamzat Shemaev. but anyway i got madison joining me on the co-cast here so sure. here's the deal we're not professionals we're probably going to talk over each other once in a while but we're going to do our best and we're going to communicate things and we're going to have a lot of fun with it so without further ado madison go ahead and cue this map up let's get to it baby I'm i have a question for, for your matchup. yeah i have a question for you right off the rip early prediction what are you thinking sure you're ready for this yeah. uh six three six two both going to nick Six three six two both going to Nick. Um, yeah, I think this first map favors Nick heavily. I think the map two favors Gobes surprisingly, just his play style. So I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a six one here and a uh, six five in Gobes favor map two heading into map three. I want to see a map three, so I'm gonna call it. Gonna have a possible engagement right here on Catwalk. Yeah, it looks like it. I'm on with Gobes right now. He's got the bomb. He's running the LC-10. What is Nick running? Does Nick see him? Nick sees him, but Gobes knows that because he has six cents on. I don't think Nick realizes that. Gobes is going to be pre-aiming this. He's snaking and gets ripped oh, off the head glitch. Dang. Good shot with the pocket, Greg. Like, out of Nick. Yeah. Uh, yeah. LC-10 versus LC-10. This is quite the matchup. You know, uh, something I've noticed with Gobes is... Um, playing against him you know for years now and just watching him play it's he has a tendency to be hesitant with his trigger um he doesn't always get shots off in a lot of his gunfights which definitely causes him to die a lot of the times but anyways hopping on with nick here as he's pushing b bomb set yeah it looks like he's gonna go all the way out b but they're blind countering gobes is looking to jump up did nick catch him as he jumped up on that box it doesn't look like it Gobes is going to jump, Chow. Once again, though, Gobes needs to get those shots down range. He needs to shoot sooner, like you're saying. He needs to shoot sooner. He, he, he's, he's jumping and not really reacting. I was expecting you to jump out that door. So, I'm noticing Gobes is a little fidgety right now. He's not quite in his groove. He's uncomfortable. You could tell he had a really good spot there. Jumped right out of it for no, really no good reason. He should have gave it a little bit more time there, and he probably would have had a free kill. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to jump chow like that, you got to be ready to shoot your gun, and he wasn't even aimed on sights at that point. So, For sure. Looks like we're going to have another matchup here at the B-side. Yeah, they just keep blind countering each other. I just adjusted my audio, so hopefully they will be able to hear you what? much clearer. And Dude. Gobes just unaware of what's going on around him. Oh, we are seeing a quick 3-0 right now from Nick. You know, I'd really like to see on the second half of this map, Gobes right start shooting his weapon. If he does this, I think I he's going to be able right to get there. a few round wins. It just, with 1v1, sometimes you got to be a little again. patient. You Obviously, like, you're talking to the guy who lets rounds go 0-0 zero, zero sometimes. So, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I like probably. patience in search. Absolutely. No, there's no doubt about that. I would like no, to see man, something. Uh, the problem that Gobes had against you was while, not so changing sure any strategy, and so I'm really curious what strategy he might turn to. He Nick's keeps... right through catwalk. Oh, yeah. Big baller play here. We're going to put it in the PG version. And he Gobes does have playing the... a little slow. And it looks like this is going to backfire him on him this time. Nick, nope. Nick, unaware of where Gobes is at, sees him, gets him. Phew. On Man, you're, uh, pusher. You're, you're aggressive, aren't you? Wow, there you go. Nick is a pusher, <laughs> as Gobes <laughs> just said. But, uh, yeah, uh, you know, I get it. Huh. Gobes is playing slower that round, but there. I would have liked to have seen I him could... pick a better spot to sit, as well as maybe easy. run an AR. <laughs> I agree. If you're going to play that angle, you might as well play with an AR. 
Yeah, yeah at the end around, of the day, yeah. it didn't matter. He got shot in the back. Oh, I'd like expecting. to see him man. try to do something a little crazier to get some momentum on his side. Gonna, for uh, sure. Go. He's got the, the bridge, Howard. Yeah. He's running double stun, Why double nade. Nick this just called out his him, gameplay, yeah. and, and he's and still going to get, get the kills in the back. What the? He is. And uh, Gobes actually putting some shots down range and nade out. Nade out. I don't like switching to this gun, though. I wish he would have kept the shotgun out and played close range. That would have been his best chance. And now, what was that? Are we getting a spectator so, glitch there, you yeah. think? No no spectator glitch on my yeah, end. I just see no, Gobes no. running away from gunfights, scared to challenge Nick and Nick. Not scared. Nick has a lot of guts in this game. He's definitely willing to take on those gunfights and chase him down. Gobes has to be ready for that. He's got to shoot his gun, man. He's got yeah, to shoot his yeah. gun. He's got to be prepared. I don't know what the heck go gun go Gobes the just The Enfield, I think. The tell. EM2. Probably gonna go EM2, to yes. What yes. we got from, and now the we'll confident see, probably, play from Nick with the sniper for the final round. Uh, not running overkill with that, by the way. So Gobes with a very odd sight that I don't think I've ever used before in my entire that life. That is in this the game. standard sight on the EM2. Yeah, That's no how it comes way. equipped. That is wild. That is yeah. ugly and ridiculous. Uh, I do want to see aggression out of Gobes when it comes to the gunfights. It seems like when there is a gunfight, he plays passive, but then when there's no gunfight, he he challenges or over challenges. There's the shots going down range. Can't finish. The shots look a little bit better than his match against. Oh, and he predicts the spot there with the nade. I like that. I like this play. Nick is playing patient though. We got to give him his credit. He's not over challenging. He's a little overzealous here with the knife out, running right at him. This could backfire. Uh, Gobes not what's shooting with the his gun. Nade? What's with the nade? What's with the nade? What Why? are you nading in that no situation for? That I, I have so you. many questions I don't think I'll ever have the answer to. Why is he really Why is he nading instead of shooting his gun? Does is I'm, he playing I'm on flip sure. and not used to it or what's going on here? Like I said, right. I think Goz is a little nervous. Um what do you want to what map? He's just checkmate. too fidgety. He needs to be a little more confident in his gameplay. He needs to get out there and actually shoot his gun in some of these gunfights you saw several times that map. Me. Nick like, would shoot at him and Gobes well, would turn around thing. to run away instead of fighting. I don't play SD yeah, a whole lot. I just lot, I'm not really tell. sure. And so, Gobes making up the excuse not playing S and D is absolute garbage. I just got to be honest yeah, with you. I, I love game. Gobes, but that is a terrible excuse. Search and destroy is is not an overcomplicated game mode. He's been playing long enough to know what to do. Yes, yes he said checkmate. Go ahead and queue it up, Madison. Let's get into this map too without further ado. Uh, without further ado, let's get into it. I really need to see some aggression from Gobes here if. He doesn't yeah. come out swinging. He's yeah. going to go down hot. Again, Nick has Dude, the advantage of having I, played I this map in his last match. <sighs> so yeah. Nick yeah, is going to have some really strategy down. I, He's going to understand how <laughs> people are playing on this map. Gobes, I believe, played Nuketown and Raid, and neither of those maps went his way. So he's going to be a little less comfortable. It's going to take him a little bit longer to get going. I need him to see... Need to see Absolutely. some aggression out Absolutely. of Gobes. Absolutely. I, I, what what I want to see here is, I mean, utilize the size so of the map. Last map, Gobes playstyle, it doesn't suit him because it's close range, and as he goes down there and loses a gunfight with right. Nick, but it, this size of a map could play to Gobes' strength, which is That's sit back good. and get into a gunfight. The problem is, is that Gobes in these gunfights is shooting two seconds too late. As He's soon as you slow. see a slight pixel, you've yeah, got to start firing bullets. Yeah, yep. especially in a 1v1, you can't you know, take that chance. Know. He's uh he's just playing a little no. too passive, like we've said before. I don't want to harp on the guy all match, but he's just playing no, a little no, too no. passive. I mean, he's got to shoot I quicker, got to put down shots. And, you know, he got into a gunfight right there, yeah, rider dicey, to, uh, like uh, shot him dead, though. Yeah, absolutely. And that, and that's the thing is, like, you know, it's, it's not harping on Gobes. I mean, if he watches this back, I hope that he would, you know, take this and bring it back and uh, try to elevate his game in the next play because what we're sharing is nothing crazy. I mean, it's just oh, the COD timing there. Nick is going to push up to the A-bomb side as Gobes gives it up, but I like Gobes in this position. I don't like what Nick is doing, even if it works out in his favor, though. This is where he got caught with you multiple times. Dude, what? It works How? out in his That's... favor. <laughs> I did not expect you to be there. <laughs> I thought you were going to be back in my spawn. See, like you said, you know, Nick says it himself. He did not expect Gobes to be there. Mm -hmm. Gobes calling himself an aggressive player is quite contradictory to the gameplay we're seeing. Well, this is not I think he's um, calling Nick an aggressive player. He said, yeah, he says you're more aggressive of a player than I am. Um, 
What that means to me is you have a, a tiny bit of aggression in your gameplay because Gobes is not really showing any of this game. Yeah. I think he's trying to let the game come to him, but he needs to go out there and take it himself. Yeah, he needs to take it himself, and he needs to start getting prepared with these gunfights. Like I said, he needs to maybe, what he's doing right here, he needs to L trigger, but not just L trigger. You got to right trigger too, buddy. You got to put bullets down range. I'm going to jump on with Nick, though. We're going to see him get aggressive with this knife in hand. I'm guessing he's running a sniper knife class. He's going to get shot in the back. Though. Oh, and there we takes go. A beautiful uh, round win. Patience. Patience pays off there for Gobes. See, Something we haven't seen in eight rounds, okay. finally. Gobes' his patience pays okay. off and he gets a yes. free kill in the back. Uh, a little I criticism there on the time. gameplay. It was a random nade up top to B that kind of gave away what side of the map Gobes was on. Mm. Um, he didn't have any information or any reason uh, to throw that grenade up top here? unless he was trying was? to gather information. Uh, really right. But really yeah, what that ended up call. doing oh, was, was giving so Nick dirty. Was dirty. Uh, his was location. So dirty. And oh, it almost cost him, but he got lucky there and got him in the back. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, that's that's why I liked Checkmate. I don't think he saw him. That's why I like Checkmate in Gobe's oh, favor is because of situations like that. The map is so big that when Nick does get aggressive, Gobe doesn't still see doesn't see him. Oh, he, oh I think he saw him he now. Saw him. I think he saw him now. Let's see what he decides to do. Good man. Yep, smart, he's crouch smart. back up. But it looks like Nick is taking advantage of this, and he is going to get aggressive again on Gobe's. Let's Gobes see if it works out. predicting the push. Yep. He Did throws he get that stun? stun out, but doesn't get a hit marker with it. I don't believe that hit Nick at all. Is, Looks like Nick is going to be around time. back. And once again, he's behind Gobes. Gobes has no idea what's going on. And we're getting the execution <sighs> kill. This is going to be an absolute rock bottom for Gobes' confidence after winning a round and then coming out and getting executed like that. That's tough. Yeah, so again, like Gobes playing, huh? had his position <laughs> known. I just and I had to do it barely relocated his position. Yeah, he he, he went down to. one I, level. Well, yeah, and I wanted. I don't to. think that's very smart when you know how aggressive Nick is playing. Right, you have two happens. options. You can either push at yeah. him. He predicted the stun yeah. very well. He knew he was mm -hmm. coming for him. He okay. missed the stun. Unfortunately, it must have been on the wrong that's side of the crates. Gave him that sense of confidence that yep, Nick is not coming for me. Ooh, stun and he hit. Was, he was wrong. Oh, oh, I know where stun you are. Stun hit Nick on Gobes. Oh, Let's yeah. see if Nick does something about it. And one of the things that I want Gobes to learn is 50-50ing the map. I haven't seen him do it yet, but with his playstyle, that skill of 50-50ing the map would be greatly beneficial. Here we go. Gobes sees him, does spot him, but now they're gonna get into a 50-50 gunfight. Oh, he gets get, him my, weak. My Gobes does not need so to re. Right he predicts the name, oh. but he doesn't need to reload right there. He Came up a 15 little short. bullets, and now Nick is going to push and probably win this round as he's going to drop down behind him, shoot him in the back. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Gobes is just he's you, tucking his tail and running every time. Yes, Gobes, shot, Gobes gives up the power position. I know that Nick has the high thing, ground, man. but Nick has hey, to come hey, to the hey, opening hey, to challenge that, I saw that you're gonna, Nick. You're gonna, or to well, challenge had, Gobes. Dude, Gobes is on the head glitch of the box. Out, yeah, he has really the advantage you. there, and he already got uh, shots yeah. down yeah. range. Like, right. The nade prediction was good. Get a reload. But I want to see him push at a different angle. Don't put yourself in a position on the map where you're just open. Like underneath the plane, you could be attacked on four different sides when you go under the plane. That was just I giving agree. up a power position. I agree. I'm seeing um, a push here through mid map. It looks like it's going to be another blind counter for Nick, in his favor. Um, what I'd like to see a little bit more out of Gobes is some composure, confidence, because anytime he gets slightly weak, he panics and runs. And yes. You see the best players. They take a couple of bullets. They readjust their position. I'm excited for what's about to happen Go now. Ahead. Let's see if Gobes is able to do this. And oh, I was just about to bad pull timing. out the proxy. That is too. very bad timing. You got so lucky. I could have uh, bad there. timing. I don't know if that was luck, but it definitely was bad timing. That's a good good check <sighs> by so Nick lucky. to check yeah. that spot. Uh, right not everybody there. would in that situation. Yeah. That was, yeah. Maybe no, maybe sure. if he comes in there a half second slower, he gets the timing gets the proxy in mind, but incredibly another round where the timing is going in Nick's favor and can't you can't just chalk that up to luck round after round after round no you either got to chalk it up to he didn't mute us or he is just playing very well that's oh. purely it I, I think it's a combination yeah, of Nick is playing with confidence he's controlling more of the map Gobes is playing oh this is quite Nick the prediction. Nick is just man. getting all the information every time. Yep, with the field mic down, he too. He knows that Gobes is down here. Shots very wayward. Not used to seeing that quite out of Nick. 
but shots beaming right there. And, and we're that is going to do it. All right, so that six zero oh, six one. Am I mistaken? That was a six one from Nick. Six zero oh, six one. GG. That was great. Um, back to back. Twelve to one. There was a lot of Gobes. close calls in that one. And my gun. Um, I think Nick is kind of looking like yeah, the Paris Legion. Yeah, it must um, be the attachments. Yeah, I just hope I that like, he wow, can turn it around. It's a confidence thing that I'm seeing. Um, yeah, he's playing a little too passive. Yeah. Not not in control uh, in his gunfights. He tends to run away. For sure, for sure. Tuck his tail and run. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's and, unmute these boys. Yeah, and uh, let's, let's get, get in there and talk to them. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully they'll unmute us. And, uh, you know, Nick coming right, into something like this, I don't want him to see uh, too much confidence come out of this. But a little bit, you know, for sure. For sure. So we'll get some of these questions firing, and we'll see what they have to say. Uh, you got us unmuted, Gentlemen, boys? can you hear us? Yep, I'm, I can hear you. Nick? I'm muting them. Okay, he's, he's always in the a step process slow. of unmuting. Uh, what? Nick, are you there? I am here. Okay, there we go. Uh, we are going to start off with a question for Nick. Okay, Gobes left the party. Um, we are going to start off with a question for... Finished. Interesting. For Nick... Um, Nick, uh, you you kind of have an absolute grueling matchup yesterday against Madison. It was a tough one, but you lost close. Sometimes they say those are the real heartbreakers and the ones that knock you down even further than a blowout. But you come into today and you regain very well. What was your mentality coming into this matchup after the loss yesterday and facing up against Gobes? Well, I wanted to going even after the loss my previous loss i just wanted to go in continuing doing my best without without showing that how how should i say it i i wanted to just prove what i got i had to go in showing to madison that no he better watch out because i'm gonna i am gonna come up and i'm gonna be right up on that podium right next to him and then i'm gonna push him off <laughs> Sure. And he, 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 needs, he needs to watch out. I'm telling you that right now. Just wait. All right. Uh, so, obviously, based on your response there, this definitely boosted your confidence. So what is it that you feel like you could take away from this and bring to that matchup and knock him off? Um, I mean, it's kind of hard to say. Um from what from from this match uh it was it's just getting to play against another a player and learning their strategies as well obviously you can't use those like have that person's strategies can't like uh oh what is it can assume that's going to be your next opponent's strategy mm -hmm. you, but getting to like learn and memorize their strategies quicker and faster and understanding exactly what might be the next move that your opponent's going to make is kind of something I'm going to bring with me next time I play. Absolutely. Uh, one more question for me, and then I'm going to pass it over to Madison to see if any has questions for you, and then we'll transition to Gobes. Um, your gameplay this match was extremely aggressive very very aggressive i saw you maintaining the same gun for a majority of the map you switched it up maybe once i think to run a sniper but you were insanely aggressive it wasn't quite the aggression we saw against madison now i'm wondering is that something that you thought was wrong with your matchup against madison you thought you weren't aggressive enough or was it something that was just for this matchup you saw an opportunity you took it um with that, yes and no. My aggression towards this match is that I wanted to let other people, other op future opponents, knowing that, hey, this is what I can do, and I'm here to be on top. And one of the main reasons why I kind of didn't do that against, show this aggression with Madison is because I didn't, I know Madison is very competitive and showing too much aggressive. Uh, aggression uh, could I felt like it could set off that aggression inside of him playing both of us going into 1v1 gunfights out of nowhere uh, and 
I feel like he would win most of those games. I had to play it smarter since I also didn't know his strategies as well, too. Mm-hmm. And so it just – it was all about understanding your opponent is how I play. Sure, sure. Madison, do you have any questions for Nick? And try I to uh, – try not to get into uh, a feud of positions here. Then I shall recount my question. <laughs> I mean, go ahead. Go ahead. You can do it. <clears throat> okay. All right. So, you know, Nick, we just saw a terrific uh, game out of you. I do want to give you your props. You played aggressive. You played with confidence. Uh, you were not afraid to engage in battle like a warrior, and I respect that. You know, it gave you a lot of confidence uh, having pulling one over on Gobes, so I respect that. That's going to help you going forward in the future. Uh, my question for you is when you look down at your finger – do you have a ring that says World Champion, Sub-Battle Champion, Season 1 with a purple gem in the middle? Oh, no, wait. That's me. So you better take back the disrespect, son. I understand you got a lot of eagerness. You got a lot of potential. But 2-0, and oh, my friend, against the, the reigning defending champion. All right. Let's cool it with that disrespect, son. Well, we're gonna take it one. on. We're gonna no. take it on over to Gobes here. Hey. All right. Hey, no, 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 Gobes, no, no, no. You I can't do that to me. You better get that ring refitted for my finger. I have. It's a little. It's a little me. big for my finger. So it's if you guys saw the fingers, it'll be. There will be a season two <laughs> ring for the champion of season two. Uh, we Go, are going to I appreciate you we sitting are gonna through tra- that, man. Yeah, we're going to transition to Gobes now. Hold on, Nick, um, you will have cool. another chance to talk in a minute. We're going to transition to Gobes. Madison, if you would like to start with Gobes, go Thank ahead. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. It's just a little bit of love between me and Nick. Um, he's, he's a good dude. Uh, Gobes, coming coming back to you. Appreciate waiting through that, man. Um, so back to back, not not trying to harp on you. Back to back tough losses, man. Um, something I've noticed in both the both of the gameplays with you is uh, it seems like you have a little bit of a lack of confidence and aggression when you're playing the game. You almost play a little timid, I would say. And I think Brock would agree with me on that. There were several times throughout the game where you would get into a gunfight. And you would be in a pretty good position to maintain that gunfight, but you would get a little weak and you would run away and end up getting shot in the back. Um, were you a little nervous coming into this game? Were you a little uneasy? I was a little nervous because I didn't know what to expect with my opponent. And you are right. I have noticed that with my past uh, experiences, and that's something I need to work on. All right. I And I appreciate a man that can uh, recognize... Um, some of his weaknesses and try to improve them so i want to ask you uh going into your next game uh, unknown opponent unknown schedule i know that can be challenging for you athletes so what are you going to do in the meantime to work on your confidence in your gameplay um personally i think you just need to run and gun a little bit more you were not putting enough bullets down on the map i don't think you shot enough bullets between the two maps to win six rounds of call of duty search and destroy you were not shooting your gun enough what are you going to do between now and then to build that confidence i know personally that i uh do not play s and d a whole lot so what i want to do is in my free time uh see if i can play some pubs s and d or something like that try and get back into the groove of getting the feel of this game if you will and trying to get my confidence back and um it's been a while since i played this game and that's my plan right i respect that a lot man Uh, i appreciate you listening to me i'm going to send it over to my co-caster brock here he's got a few questions for you absolutely gobes uh to to Pair with that question that he just asked you about, you know, getting ready for the next opponent. I just wanted to ask, you know, one thing that we're opening up here in this sub battles this season is that you can call out a player on any Call of Duty or any game that you could do a 1v1 where it can be spectated and codcasted um, or casted in general. Obviously, we're trying to stick to Call of Duties. For some of our players who can't play Call of Duty, we might do like Overwatch or something. Uh, so my question is, is there a different Call of Duty that you feel like would be better suited and that you would like to take your talent to and challenge a player at that other Call of Duty? Or do you feel like it is this Call of Duty you just need to warm up? You know, Brock, I, that's a great question. Uh, 
you know, I had a lot of confidence when this game was, you know, the main Call of Duty to play. And since the new uh, Modern Warfare 2 came out, I've been playing that a lot more. And I think I just need to warm up on this game and uh, just put as much time into this game as I do MW2. Who are you going to call out, Gobs? You know, I can't answer that question because I do not know. All right, respect. Just remember this, Gob. Keep, keep your head up, okay? It was not too long ago that you yourself took a map off the reigning defending champion, okay? So hold that high, man. Hold that high. Keep grinding. Get that confidence back, man, and you will be back in the winner's column eventually. Absolutely. Uh, pardon that uh, brief interruption. Uh, I do have some more follow-up for you, Gobes. Um does you know wanting you to keep your confidence up and do these things and this being for sure one of your better cods this is the first cod where i believe you uh i'm not gonna say you beat me in a 1v1 but the timer ran out and you were in the lead because we didn't set the settings correctly so i know that this call of duty is one of your best call of duties search and destroy maybe the mode itself is a little bit newer to you the strategies and so on um do you plan on going to the shinobi channel and watching some of the snd teaching videos to help you prepare for your next opponent if that's what you suggest then i absolutely will uh, no, I was just asking, you know, you can look up many different options. I just, you know, I know that that Shinobi guy knows a little something about S and D and he might be the only person that could ever knock off the champ if he wasn't retired, but, uh, he is retired. Oh, and down, so I would be out of the league. Champ. The that's champ not true. That's not true. That's not true. But, uh, anyway, uh, final question for both Nick and Gobes. Um, we're going to start it off with Gobes cause we're already asking him Gobes. Uh, are your plans after this starting off you know with two losses that's okay everybody can bounce back um but do you have a next opponent in mind or are you looking to take some time off and prepare for uh the next opponent a little bit further down the line i think personally that's the best choice for me to take some time and prepare myself in this game to face my next opponent whoever that is in the future so i will be taking a brief break and let this continue to strive this series for sure for respect. sure okay respect to that all right nick going to you obviously you just lost to madison now you get a dominant win over gobes but madison has already called out somebody else and so you're kind of waiting in the wings. Do you take time off and risk losing some of the momentum you build off this match? Or do you find somebody in the meantime to possibly challenge and play against? Um, so in this position right now, I would have to, I'm absolutely not going to take some time off. Uh, right now is my time to show my future opponents what I got, including Madison, just to give him a little, I need, he needs to, he's the one who needs to take a break, in my opinion, after that exhausting match that we had. I know he's kind of old, so I think he needs to sit down, take some melatonin, and <laughs> take a little nap, you know? So, but the, the my, uh... Come on, come on. Keep it together. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be calling out Kansas Steak because I need to work Ooh. my way up uh, to the top. All the way up so I can get back on my level with uh, Madison as well. So I'm going to be calling out Kansas Steak, Cold War, or Modern Warfare 2. For sure. And, For uh, sure. Yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, you are trying to work your way back up to that number one contender spot. Kansas State has yet to to challenge anybody or uh, have a match against anybody here in season two. So I'm excited to see him make his debut as well as perhaps some other players that we're going to see make their debut coming out here in season two. I'm pretty excited. Hopefully we get some rookies on the roster and they can show up and make things a little more interesting. But that is going to be it for this video. I thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Thanks to our competitors. Thanks for my co caster madison the reigning defending champion and still an absolute beast undefeated. out here undefeated undefeated in two seasons sick freak cheers sick who, freak who, who will be the one who will be the one sign up for these sub battles it could be you that's on the throne at the end of the season as long as i'm not in the league
for sure, dude, for sure. All right, God bless and peace out. All right, babe, dude, we'll I ain't old. <laughs> 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 Take some